Hello my criminal justice enthusiasts, and welcome back to Prison Architect. In the last episode, we went ahead and began adding a library onto Siren Song. In this episode, I hope to continue with that trend, get some money in, actually fill out the library, and then we'll really start looking at putting in more prison cells so we can get more prisoners in and start really turning a daily profit that's going to be substantial. So, for right now, we've got the guards doing shakedowns on these different cells, hopefully finding anything that these prisoners are not supposed to be having. So, we'll let them do that. It's sort of slowing down things in the prison as a whole because of the fact that we don't have, you know, the ability to enter these cells like we normally would for our cleaning people. We found a digging tool here that's unacceptable. So... Once again, we've built the solitary cells, and the good news is we can now use them. So, we got plenty of people going into solitary now. They're not going to be too happy about it, but they shouldn't be breaking the law inside my prison. Simple as that. Alright, so it really looks like we got through the search for the most part. Everything's turned out okay. We are getting some exports out of here, so we're doing okay that way. We're starting to cut down that deficit we had. Um... So that's a good thing going on. We have assembled the things in the library. We have to put in that wall before we can have anyone really working in the library, though. So that'll be a little while still. But overall, everything seems to be working pretty well. For right now, as I said, it's all about getting some money in so we can start doing the things that we need to. We are getting these trees planted, which is a good thing. I think in order to get the snowy conifers, what I'm going to have to do is put snow back into this area. But that is fairly low on the list of priorities. While I do like the snowy conifers, I need to make some money first. We did get prisoner intake in, so we got some fresh meat coming in. They are being brought in, searched, their rights being violated pretty much. Alright. And they're fine. have sworn that I had changed this schedule up here. Let me see. I do have free time for minimum security to begin, and I do have work free time for protective custody. So, just I had skipped over that time, I guess. Alright, so the eat time is almost done. We can see how the shop is working then, because we still have a bunch of items that need to be put on these shelves. I mean, really, these ladies are not doing the greatest job of getting these shelves fully stocked. Sort of disappointed in their work ethic. They're wanting literacy, which we've got the beginnings of a uh, library going on, but we haven't gotten anything on the shelves yet. So they are going to be upset about that, and I can't say I blame them. All right. We do have people working in here. This is where we're making a nice little profit right now, because they are going ahead and uh, getting these goods set up for us. Where did the wood go that was on that table? I don't know. Well, we got more wood being cut right now. That's perfectly fine. We had a prisoner released. Excellent. I want to at least get this wall set up here. That way I can go ahead and assign this area to people to work in. And then we can start actually dealing with prisoners coming into this area. Alright, so we had a bunch of trees come in, so we are back into the red. That's fine, though. Alright, we've built this wall logistics-wise. We're going to have four people working in the library, if possible. Alright. We should also check intelligence-wise. Do we have any... Yes, we do. We have an ex-law enforcement. We need to take care of her. She needs to go to protective custody. So, Alexis Robinson. She's sentenced to 18 years for multiple crimes, including criminal damage and, uh, and perjury. She has a boyfriend, a daughter, a daughter, a daughter, and a son. We need to protect her so she can get out there and take care of her kids. So, good thing we caught her so she didn't die. Alright. And we have the cell available for her, so it's not like she's getting abused or anything. And realistically, she sort of is being abused because they do not have freedom, as this one keeps complaining about. 
But that's just the way it is. It's a rough life. You went ahead and committed some crimes, so now you have to go ahead and do that time. All right. So we have one visitor uh, on site, one visitor group on site, I guess it is. Uh, we have two more prisoners coming in in 16 hours. And uh, have ten, 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course, so that's good. Uh, we still have to raise the capacity some, so we're waiting on that. And then we have this waiting on the long-term investment going on as well. So for right now, we're just having money going out pretty much, not coming in for the most part. We do have our exports that are going fairly well. That's chunking away at our debt somewhat, which is a good thing. So, we will continue with that. We're making plenty of license plates, it looks like, and we've got all this wood that's been cut here, so that's all good. We had people using the restroom in here, which is not the greatest thing in the world. I am curious to see, we've had pretty much another day go by, and again, the Carpentry Apprenticeship just does not seem like it has gone well at all. So, we might have to do something about that. I almost wonder about flipping the two, maybe putting the Carpentry Apprenticeship at the beginning of the day. Let's see here. Let's move Workshop Safety to there. Carpentry Apprenticeship to there, and Workshop Safety to there. Maybe that will help. I don't know. I think part of the problem is we just don't have enough people yet, and the Carpentry Apprenticeship is really hard to pass. So I think for right now that's causing us some of our difficulties. Alright, so we have this library, but we don't have any books in yet. Hopefully, books should start showing up at a point in time here. Um, is sort of the point of a library. I believe they will, but I might need to actually have money for that to happen. Is there any other programs that I still need to do? I need to do legal, and I need to do the bank loan, and the offshore tax haven. So, I have those things still left to go. Really, this one I'd like to get done... And I have an idea of how I might end up doing that, which is going to be creative, I will say. Let's go ahead and sell the remainder of these that are over here. And sell this stuff that's over here. Alright, do we have anything else? Yes, we have other stuff that's going out right now. So let's get that money in. Let's pause. What we're going to do is we're going to research the bank loan. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is taking that bank loan then. We have people working out. Did I just have one woman there that was nude working out? It's rather odd. Okay, we had library books that are unsorted, which means we've got library books in. I don't see where the library books are, though. So, where are the unsorted library books? Oh, there they come right there. Good. We've got library books coming in. I am happy about that. We got more metal plate in, which we're going to need for these prisoners, so that's a good thing. Uh, we've got some laundry. We don't have enough laundry right now. That's going to need to be expanded in the near future. Which it will be. It's going to go over here in the end. That'll be fine. Uh, but it's not my primary concern right now. If I have to spend some money on some extra laundry and we're going to throw away some laundry, I'm fine with that. Alright. I need to speed up time to get that, live, to get that loan taken. All right, we're going to let them sleep in the, tonight. We're not going to actually harass them at all. We're going to be nice in that way. It's going to take a while to get to that loan. We do have some money coming in, which is a good thing. 
overall, the prison is turning a profit. It's just not turning a profit as fast as I want it to be. And part of that has to do with that offshore account. It's going to save us a bunch of money from where we are right now. Because right now, we get a 1500 uh saved on our taxes. This will double that amount. So it'll really give us a decent quantity of money that we'll be getting in and such. I want that money. On top of that, we'll be getting this money soon enough, so that's a good thing. We have the exports going out. That's fine. We have these books in here now, so we will start putting books on shelves, hopefully starting tomorrow. That'll be a good thing. Still don't know why all these goods have not been put onto these shelves. We should... I think the thing is we don't have enough people to work all the jobs is part of the problem. Which means we really need more prisoners at this point. But again, we need more money for all of this. So. We have staff members that are exhausted. They really shouldn't be. They can go on break whenever they want to. I think I do need a few more kennels in here. I will go ahead and put those as soon as I can, as well as filling out the infirmary beds. But all of this stuff is going to cost money. Sorry. Right now, are these two working in this area? No, did they go to work up here? Yes, they did. But you know, for this day, I'm going to let them do that. Starting the next day, or starting after this, this is going to be, you know, it can be shared. It's a library. Everybody can use it. I'm fine with that. Alright. We have gotten through the bank loan. Which means then... can only take out 2500 in a bank loan. I don't care to do that. Why can I not decrease it all the way? Because I don't have that money. That was not what I was wanting. I could have sworn there's a way. We can sell shares. That's what I want. That gives me the money I wanted. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, so let's go back to the other one. Is get rid of this bank loan. I don't need that. Alright. Taking care of that. Let's pause before money is spent on other things. Get that offshore tax haven taken care of. Really, I don't care about this too much yet. Yeah, I don't care about these things too much, so we're not going to worry about that yet. That took a big chunk of that money that I had just borrowed, but that's fine by me. All right. I had said I was going to take care of some things. Now, we have enough infirmary beds for the time being. We could use some more definitely in the future, but for now, I think that we're good. I actually want to see if I put some dog crates over on this side. Will they face the opposite direction so the dogs will be able to get into them, or will they be a problem? If they'll be a problem, then I'll just put them over here. Yeah, we'll see. For right now, I'm just going to leave them just like that. Um, alright, so we've got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and run power into this place. We'll see if that's far enough. We might need more. But let's start with that.
All right. So we have that going on. I'm not going to fill the entire place up yet because I want to spend some money down here quick building out these cells. So that's taken care of. Then we're going to put brick along here. We're going to make some toilet areas that will be part of the canteen. make sure that the plumbing for all of this is set. That way, in case a pipe springs a leak somewhere, we still have additional plumbing coming to it. I just deleted that wall, I realize. We will have plenty for our guards to be working, or for our workers to be working on. Right, go ahead and connect that. Go back up here, build this wall out. Plumbing wise, have this come down here, have this come over here. We will have all of this area set up. Our workers will definitely not be bored because they will have a ton to be doing here. But should go ahead and finish off this area so we don't have to worry about it anymore. We'll have everything that we need in the area. And I think we should even have enough money for the doors. It'll probably put us back into the red here very quickly, but you know what? 
all of that's now taken care of. So let's go ahead and hit, yeah, it put us back into the wreck, but I'm okay with that. We should now have, well, we haven't plumbed all of the new cells yet. So we will have a little bit still to go as far as that. But it's going to be a while before our guys are able to actually get to all of this work as it is. So that works out fine. And we actually have two people who have, it looks like, passed the uh, process here. They're actually trying to do some of the wood cutting. If they can make a bed, that would be fantastic. Alright, so we have a bunch of stuff going on here. It's going to be 47 hours before the offshore tax haven comes on. So that'll take care of itself soon enough. This is now going to be a full-on facility, so that's good. We do have people who are going to work in here as well, so they can start putting those books onto the shelves, and we can actually have people getting literacy and being happy about that. All right, this person's wanting drugs. That person wants literacy. They want hygiene. You've got some uh, showers in your cells there, ladies. You know what I might do? Because these ladies seem to be having such a problem with it, we're going to go ahead and make this just shower time right in here. So that way they shower before they come out of their cells. That, you know, it costs them an hour of sleep, but if they don't know to shower on their own, then we will force them to shower when we tell them to. Alright. So, we've got our workers scurrying around like busy little bees here doing all the things that we need done. Why is our... She's in solitary. She had weapons on her. Really? You're in protective custody and you're going to cause problems like having weapons on you? That's just disgraceful. Alright. So we do not own our entire prison right now, which I'm not exactly thrilled about. We did have to sell off parts of it. We will buy those parts back hopefully soon enough. But we really wanted to get the offshore tax haven done. And at the same time, we're going to get some more cells online here which will allow us to get more prisoners in and therefore make more money. Oh, we did also need to extend this canteen into here and here. Otherwise, it's sort of a mean joke on their part where they're allowed into the area where they can see the toilets, but they can't actually use the toilets. That would just be rude. So we're not going to do that to them. We'll actually let them use the toilets. They'll be happy about that, I think. And the reality of the situation is we're just going to need more workers here soon enough. We have some doing cleaning. We have a few here that are working, doing the book sorting and such. I actually would like to get these other sorting tables in place. So that way we can really have them cranking along with this and get these other bookshelves in here as well. Did I put bookshelves over here too? Yeah, I think I did. So let's go ahead and get those bookshelves in place and the sorting desks in place. So that way we can hopefully have more literature on the shelves for these people. They'll be happy about it. We have a bunch of people taking the uh, educational classes, so that's a good thing. He's still teaching these two over here. Hopefully one of them learns how to build a bench. I don't know if they did. She had a saw on her. Okay, well, they're going to go work over at these machines, which I guess is not the end of the world. I sort of do want them working at the different machines. Um... Come to think of it, I do need to really put a metal detector by that door pretty badly. So, as soon as we get some money in, we're definitely going to need to do that. Uh, you know what? For right now, we're going to sell some of this wood. Since we're not using all of it. 
I mean, they're not even using the wood right now. Seems like the amount of wood I sell, they just actually use that money up. Alright, we've made a little bit of money, but not enough to actually do anything with. Sell this wood as well. Yeah, we're just actually spending money faster than I can make it right now. Building all the things I had wanted done. So, I'm not actually going to be able to get that metal detector put in anytime soon, it looks like. Unless I were to take one from over here. How do the metal detectors things... They go out in that direction, which is what I thought they did. Alright. You know what? It's not my greatest idea of all time, but we're going to dismantle this. Let's go ahead and prioritize that. Somebody come over here and dismantle that real fast. Thank you. This is definitely robbing Peter to pay Paul, as the old saying goes, but for right now, I'm more concerned about tools leaving my workshop area. Especially seeing that woman with the saw on her hand really made that hit home. And we do have two metal detectors here, so in theory they shouldn't be taking things out of this area. Meaning this area too easily. So that's my hope. I want this middle detector put in as soon as possible. Whoever can get on that, I would appreciate it. See how you're doing as far as the work over here. The walls are coming along nicely. Uh, the solitary cells are coming along. Right now, this has been... These doors have been put in. Really, what we need to do is name these solitary cells. So now that they're named solitary cells, the doors should remain open unless they're being used as solitary cells for the time being. So, that's all going according to plan. We need some jail doors definitely put onto these new cells. We have the new toilets put in, so the ladies should be happy about the fact that now during eat times they will be able to actually use the restroom. We have a bunch of stuff being cooked here. Haven't been checking as to how well we're feeding our prisoners, actually. We probably need to expand this kitchen. But for right now, we just don't have the money for it. And as it stands, these u this utility is being stretched as far as it possibly can, as is this one. So realistically, we're going to need to go ahead and put in some capacitors before we really expand in any direction, power-wise. How are things going up here? Hey, we've got the other shelves and stuff put in place. We actually had some books put on some of the shelves. I need to get a trash bin in here, but I can't afford anything right now. So, we'll just have to wait on that. We have a prisoner due for release soon, so that's good. We have not had many prisoners up for parole, it's looked like. Uh, passing the foundation education. Haven't had that much luck with doing that yet, but we're just going to have to wait on that. This we still have a ways to go as well, so. We do have these new prison cells coming online. Basically, we're in need of doors on them is the main thing. Have we not gotten doors in? Is that the problem? Are they part of what we could not afford as of right now? Very possibly the case. And I thought that the power was... I thought that the power line went down this far already. Okay, so that's a problem for right now. I don't have any just extra cable laying around. I need 20 bucks. That's all I need, really, is 20 bucks. But I have a feeling the second I start selling these... Yep, we're going to have more debt coming up, I'm guessing. We 
do have some logging going on here, which is a good thing. We need these trees to start helping out with our finances. So that's why I was willing to take the hit up front with the forestry thing. I knew it was going to cost us some money, and it still will as time goes on, because we're going to have those trees coming in like this batch here. But it'll be worth it in the long run, because we're making money from selling those trees. So... Really, for right now? I think it's a waiting game to go ahead and get the finances to be able to put these doors on. Which the irony of that is, once those doors are put on, then we will have more prison cells, we will make more money. But we do have people coming in here that are going to learn how to make things, hopefully. So that's good. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. Let them be doing that job. These ladies are working in here. We need more goods still being brought in. But they are working in here. They are making some profit for us, it looks like. I think some people are buying some things. Realistically, probably not many people are because of the fact that everybody's busy doing jobs. So. We do have books going on shelves. That's making me happy, though. So we will have the literacy issue taken care of here, hopefully soon. Have a bunch of license plates being made. That's a good thing. I'm going to sell this wood, really. We had money come in, but then we had jail doors bought. Hey, we did have jail doors bought, so that's a good thing. I'm willing to spend the money on the jail doors. So now we have eight new prisoners coming in. That will be good. We actually had some money made. Go ahead and slow it down and sell off these license plates that we have here. We actually just lost all the money that we got in. Because we bought TVs with it. <laughs> Alright. Well, I can't really win for losing right now. Um, I need to connect this up here and I need to connect the actual water for them. I think they will care much more about the water than they will about having a TV in their cell. Could be wrong, but that would be my guess. Let's pause it so we don't lose the money when we... No, nope, we're still in the red. We had an early release. We have the money in. I paused it so we did not spend that money suddenly. All right, happy days. First things first, we are gonna connect that power there. Next, we are going to connect this water here. And we are going to connect this to water. And we are gonna connect this to water. And this to water. And this to water. Alright, so all the new cells will now be getting plumbing. I think now we've got everything taken care of here. So that will actually work out well for us. And with the extra money we actually have laying around right now, which I say almost sort of tongue-in-cheek because we really shouldn't have money we're going to put in another workshop press. Hopefully that power capacitor can handle it. And we did so just before the trees actually cost us everything. Alright. So we are out of power entirely. I wonder, if I take one off of here, can this press, or can this... Uh, power station handle having one fewer capacitors here. I'm hoping it can. It can. No, they took out the drain and not the capacitor. If somebody would please come here and dismantle that and then put the drain back in. That would be appreciative. Or I would appreciate that, I mean. And if that will not work, 
question is if it'll work. If it won't, then I can take one off of here easy enough, I think. Yeah, that's not going to work well there. All right. We have this capacitor. Put it back on there. Take this one off of here. We're walking a very fine line power-wise right now, and we just are going to have to deal with that until I can get some more money in. Alright. Go ahead and install that one as quickly as you can, please. Surprisingly, this one got reinstalled and we didn't run out of power, so that we had a problem there. So that's great news. Alright, um... We'll get this power put in here. This one is pretty much at max, so I could not put another cooker on if I wanted to. Um, we're going to have to wait on that. That piping is ready to install, it looks like. So that'll take care of the plumbing for that room. Once this gets installed over here... then we can turn the power back on to that area. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. If you've liked the episode, go ahead and click that like button. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're made aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and remember, behave yourself out there, otherwise I might have to build a new cell for you.